Alright, so what I've done already is use the mold release liquid on here and I just filled it in a little spray mister bottle <coughs> and sprayed it basically all over the mold. Um, I did it once, let it dry, and then I did it again a second time because this is the first time I'm using this mold. And then after all that dried, what I did was used some white spray paint and sprayed over the mold release uh, onto the you know, finished side of the mold. And basically that's like the very outer shell of the finished rock casting then, apparently. Um, like I said, this is the first time I'm actually doing this, so it's all kind of a learn as you go sort of thing um, and I think I've got everything I need for the most part to do this I've got some measuring cups little plastic or you know, plastic or paper cups for mixing stuff in I got disposable Tupperware bowls for mixing things in I have some latex gloves. I made some little paintbrush or putty knife scrapers out of cardboard. Um, I also have a couple cheap plastic uh, putty knife kind of things that I can use if I need to spread stuff around a little bit. And lots of paper towel. Um, newspaper and I put plastic under some stuff. Uh, so this is going to be the first step apparently is mixing the casting resin. You mix equal parts of both pieces and stir them all together in a few minutes they'll you pour it into the mold and then it'll harden into a, a white plastic and that's the <coughs> kind of the hard outer shell of the mold and then on top of that you'll put the foam which is kind of the backing so I'm gonna give this a shot and we'll see how it turns out well I mixed up the uh, casting resin um, and poured it into the mold I used uh, just my hands to kind of like spread it around and keep it from filling in the low spots uh, hopefully I got it all in there and thick enough to do the job, but uh, we'll have to find out. Um, this is the mixing bowl I used. As you can see, it kind of uh, turns it like a milky white color after a while once it starts to harden. Um, now the next step, before this hardens too much, is when you mix up the foam and pour that in. Um, apparently you don't want the uh, casting resin to dry and get too hard before doing the next step. So that is what I'll be working on next. Alright, well this is how it looks after uh, mixing the foam and pouring it on there. Um, you can see the foam kind of like gets air bubbles in it and it's slowly hardening right now. Um, put the window screen in there. I wasn't sure if you're supposed to do that for rock molds or if that's just for like shell scenery. But we'll see how it goes. I, uh, I'm always worried about, you know, pulling the mold off and having the, the rock casting break or something like that. So, uh, poured it a couple minutes ago and it's Still a little tacky yet, so we'll check the directions here. But uh, uh, the foam is supposed to be dry to the touch before you try and remove it from the mold. So I think I'll give it a couple more minutes, and uh, hopefully then we'll pull it off and see some results. Well, while we're waiting a couple more minutes for this to dry, I'll kind of 
show you what things what's going on right now. This is the um casting resin, which is the plastic, which is the first thing I poured down. And as you can see, it's turned completely pretty much white. Um and it's completely hardened. I can poke it with my fingernail even and not really make much of a dent in it at all. And that only took maybe 15 minutes to harden. Then the next layer was the foam. This was some of the leftovers I had. Uh, and it's mostly dry. You can see it's a little bit sticky on top yet. So I'll figure I'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll try and pull the mold off. All right, well, came out. That's a good sign. Um, well, this is the finished casting. Let's see if I can get it up here. Um, it's still very soft. You can see the back of it. I kind of had to scrape it off the uh, board here very nice little putty knife just to try and like get under it. Um, I'm wondering if it might be easier to put some paper under it and just let it stick to it and then cut the paper when you're done around the edges, but well, for the most part it turned out pretty good for a uh, first try. Uh, it's a little trickier than I kind of imagined it was going to be, so hopefully uh, by the time I do the next one, I'll be a little bit better at it, but I think it'll work out fairly nicely. Um, now we'll have to put it on the layout and glue it down. I got some hot glue, which I figure is probably the easiest to... Uh, install it with. I had some liquid nails that I used on some of my other foam before, but it uh, takes a little while to dry, so I'm going to try some hot glue and hopefully I'll have some pictures for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Alright, well this is basically how it looks glued onto the side of my foam. Um, I just used a hot glue gun. It seemed like the quickest and easiest way to go in there. Um, it, when it's fresh out of the mold, it will bend pretty easily. So I was pretty impressed with that. Um, I have quite a few curving rocks that I want to try and do, so that's kind of why I went with this system. But, as you can see, it looks pretty good. I used an X-Acto knife and a metal straight edge to kind of trim off the bottom so it was flush so it would fit in at the bottom of my river and then the top I'm just gonna clean up with a little scissors probably and um, around the edges I'll use a lightweight spackle to kind of blend everything in I'm gonna put it another small thin layer of foam up on top of uh, this layer right here, so it's kind of going to be like a slight hill. And then that's just going to be grass. And so I'm hoping I'll be able to do things like bend it around that corner. I'm not sure if it can bend that tight when it's fresh, but it looks like it'll do a pretty good job because you can see the angle that it was bending at there. And so I have that little area to do, and then I'm going to try and get it around this thing. 
just kind of like a little small outcropping there. Actually, it's kind of a big outcropping, but so I'm hoping I can uh, mold it bigger than what it needs to be, and then kind of trim around the different areas for the different shapes and then blend it all in with um, you know, spackle and whatever else kind of filler I can find to put in there. But uh, overall I thought it turned out pretty good for a first try. Um, there's a few little tricks to doing it. It is kind of sticky when you um, finally flip it over when it's once it's you know dry technically uh, and you flip it over and try and remove it from the mold it you have to do it very slowly and just kind of work from like one edge or a corner and try and slowly pry it up but it will stick kind of to uh, whatever is underneath it so um I just put it on a a cutting board that I use and so I could slide a putty knife under there and kind of loosen it back up once it had dried even more and kind of stuck to it but you can probably put like paper or newspaper down and then just either leave it there or you know trim around the newspaper and do it that way but uh Oh, well, it looks like it'll be some really interesting stuff, so hopefully uh, I'll have a few more videos on showing how I've used it.